guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game playthrough. Playing the game Endogenesis by David Go, and we're also playing the expansion of the game, which is called Endogenesis Beyond. Beyond. <laughs> it plays one to five players. There is a single mode, there is a co op mode, there is a three player advanced mode, which we'll be playing, and then there's the four and five player mode, which is called the. Uh, it's the tactical version. It's tactical like a, it's version. It's like a simplified version for more players. So, if you want to play a simple fighter, you can do that. Or you can play this type of game for more advanced players at the four and five player level. Um, we've already went and set up the game. So, as you can see down below here, uh, we have the two cards that we'll be starting off the game with. These are the ones we chose out of the four. If you watched our review, you'll know how to set the game up for the most part. We also have four cards in hand here, which we started off with from drawing from the top of the deck. And because Callie's going first, she doesn't get any bonuses. But because I'm going second, I get to draw one additional card. Like second to last. Second to, I'm second to last, so I'll get to draw one extra and card. I'm last, I get one crystal. little crystal there. So that is pretty much it. We'll put all these into our hand. We also, of course, chose to set up our little, uh, these little shards here. Yeah. And we have our max health set to what we chose because we started with three so Cal all I three spent... of us increased our health by two yes so i spent two crystals to go to five so did callie so did grant and we all have one little crystal left over callie and i allocated ours on one of our abilities and mike hasn't allocated yeah I'm, I'm kind of sitting and waiting <laughs> so we're pretty much ready to go so we're going to go ahead and begin our turns right now you ready yes so a monster comes out right yes okay. so we'll go ahead and flip over our monster first the top of the deck. That is an Auric Lepthrope. Its active says that I'll draw a card and it'll do damage to all players equal to the card's cost. Okay. And that's come from the top of the uh, deck of knowledge. Yes. And then it's got six HP, so you just go ahead and move its max and current HP to six. Yep. All right. So I will play an ability that's free to play down. Wow. On the yeah. Three got different ones. Pretty lucky. Mythic abilities already. Got very lucky. Um, and now, in order to use any of the abilities, I have to pay the cost right here. And I. I don't know if I can kill this guy. He has six health. So yeah, you can weaken him for me. I'll, I'll accept Oh, that. no! <laughs> I want to do it. Mark used. Okay. And, uh, but I will be able to use two of these abilities. So I'm going to use this one. I will spend two resources up here to uh, activate Band activate. of Rasion. Yes. So this will go to the side to be activated. It'll deal one instead of that. I have a shard. It'll deal two damage to two enemies. To two enemies and mark them. All right, Grant and the monster will each take two. Five and four, and then Grant goes down to three. And now it's Mark. And and a mark bonus is it does an extra bonus damage to marked enemies. So if you do another damage from something that's marked, mm -hmm. it'll do bonus damage. And well, each all, skill all has their own mark bonus. Yeah. Yeah. All of these mythic abilities kind of have that combo with them. Yep. So then I will spend three resources here to do this. Wait, the spear. You got a staff, a brand, and a spear. What are you gonna use? Yeah, I'm gonna use the spear because it's going to deal two damage to the monster. Yep. And it'll also deal a bonus one damage. Yep. Oh, it's so close. And I draw a card, which is the nice part, which I wanted. Okay. And I got lucky. I can do, I got enough resources, three, to do the other staff as well. Deal wow. two damage to the monster. Okay. When you defeat the monster, you get two of these, which you can save or allocate. You're also going to get to draw a card from the deck and a new monster is going to pop out. That is not a monster, it's an event. It says somebody gets to draw a card. Oh, right. I like this. I like this. It's actually a good event. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And then we flip over another one until now, we find I a monster. I do believe that Callie's Staff of Wukong refreshed since she hit a marked target. Uh, this skill can be used again and target's mark expires. Yes. So the skill can be used again. If I use it again, it won't be marked. Well, yes, but the, well, mon the monster is dead. Oh, yeah, so that doesn't matter. And uh, the unicorn's got 5 HP. I'm not going to have enough to kill it, so I'm going to end my turn. Wait, I will... I have two tokens I can add. Yeah, the HP, you can add to one of your skills. 
I like, I like this one here. Sphere of, <laughs> the sphere. All right, that's my turn. And I'm not gonna buy from the shop. All right. Uh, so when you buy from the shop, by the way, mm -hmm. you can, if you want to, discard two cards from your hand, select any one of these, put it into your hand, discard the rest of these and put three more out. The shop gets refreshed whenever you buy from it or at the end of every round. All right, so I've got a bunch of cards in my hand, and I don't know what oh, I'm going to do. Oh, it does not heal. It does. It restores three health to the player that uh, that oh, drew oh. that, which would be Callie, and then on the active, it heals, to, uh, it heals everybody. I'm going to play that, which would give me one of these little guys here for currency, and then I'll also get to draw a card. Okay. Okay, so I've got Dark Veil, which says whenever it use it, whenever an enemy uses a reaction skill, its effects are canceled, and any uh, energy spent is lost, and they are dealt one damage. So it can be actually pretty useful. It's good against bad. It's good against other players. And then Mind Blast that does two damage to all enemies. Discard a card from hand if any player uses a reaction skill. Hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna put put Transform out. That deals one damage to all enemies, restores one health for each target successfully damaged. It's pretty useful. I'm looking for straight up damage stuff, but... <laughs> you got all the... I got a bunch of cards. wonky stuff here. <laughs> so I'll move this all over. I'm going to put this down. An ultimate. And that's an ultimate resonate, resonate flash. I'm also going to take Dark Veil back into my hand and play this card face down instead. Because I don't like Dark Veil. It's too, it's too aggressive, I think, for right now. It's basically if you did something... Uh, in response to something, I could yeah. flip this over, I could flip Dark Veil over and affect you in some way and do damage to you, which is pretty mean, but can be useful. Okay, so my Resonate Flash, this one deals three damage, and I get, I gain four if something dies. That's pretty useful. Hmm. Okay, so we'll do, let's see if I have enough currency to do all this. I do. All right, so I'm going to play, I'm going to do Mind Blast. Discard for three. Uh, deal two damage to all enemies. No. And if anybody uses a reaction skill, I have to discard a card from my hand. No, nobody has a reaction mm -hmm. skill. Okay. And then I will play Resonant Flash, which is going to cost me two. And that says it does three damage, so this actually took two damage. And then it says it does three damage, and I gain four of uh, the, vol the Voltaic charges. If the target dies. If the target dies, which it's going to die. And we were doing four damage to it. And it says two otherwise. And if uh, if I got more or four more, I can discharge and add two Voltaics to all of my Voltaic skills, or I can restore six HP. So this is simply going to disperse, disperse and give me nothing. <laughs> but luckily, unicorns do provide some useful bonuses. So discharge, you have to discharge it. Once you hit that. Yes, amount. Okay. yes. Once you get to a certain amount, you have to. I'm going to put two on this one here. I'm going to look at this really quick. I'm going to spend one to increase my maximum health from five to six. The unicorn is now gone. It did its job. And a new monster comes out. And that is called the Rifflings. Uh, deal one damage to all players. Oh. As right an active, now? no, as an active, okay. and it does one bonus damage for each Voltaic charge on it. As a reaction, you'll gain two defense. If at least one damage was blocked, gain one charge. So you're going to want to kill this guy fairly quickly. Uh, it only has four HP, though, so it's pretty it's pretty chill. I'm done. I'm done. And I'm not going to buy either, I don't think. It's <laughs> expensive. To it buy. is very expensive. Okay. I'll discard this. For two? Play a card in my uh, autoplay spot. Yep. And that is it. Nice and easy. Alright, so the Riffling's going to uh, take place. He's going to do one damage to everybody based on its uh, counters. Oh, wait, you didn't do any skills or anything? Nope. I just played you this card Do you draw a card, card right? No, I played this card face Oh, down. you did play a card. Okay. So, the Riffling does no damage to us. Because yeah, it has one damage to all him. players. Deal one bonus damage. Oh, okay. Take. Okay, so it does the one damage to everybody. So I die. No, correct. I'm going to just take the one damage. <laughs> it's only one damage, right? right? Now, when you die, when you have no victory points, it's no big deal, basically. You're going to be uh, 
unempowered on your next turn, which means you just can't use these bonuses. But you'll basically untap and do everything you normally would, or unexhaust and everything you normally would. And then if you got killed two times in a row, you're never going to be unempowered two rounds in a row. So if you die twice in a row, at least your second time, you're still going to come back. So Grant hid his shards under his ability, so he knows he can't use them. Next okay. turn. All right. So this is done. Now we're all going to draw three cards. Yay! Cards! And discard one. <laughs> mm. All right, goodbye, Hyperdrive. Even though that's a pretty good card. Four health. We got this, I think. As long as I have enough resources. Okay. So this one is the new one of the new cards, right? Yeah. So it's a you, you, extra slot. Yeah, you hide it. Oh. So you don't show anybody. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't see it. So I thought it was a. Put it I down like it that. Hidden. It's in a separate okay. slot. Yeah. Then you have to pay for it. Right now. Yep. Okay. Because those trigger at the start of your next turn. Because at the start okay. of your next turn, if you have any initiative cards, they'll trigger. Otherwise, those cards are actually going to be so death you, cry cards. You, you know that this is going to be an initiative because when I died, my death cry card would have triggered. Mm, yes. Okay. So I will gain two to pay for this yep. and restore two health. Woohoo! Yep. That's a good one. Demon blood. Thank you. And now I will play. I will. I, I guess I might as well put down an ultimate so I have something there. And I will spend... Oops, oh, I know. Oh, this is tough. Okay, I'll spend the three here because deal, deal two. Oh, this deals three. Yeah. No, I need to do four damage. Maybe I can't kill it this turn. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I guess I'll just do that then. Deals two damage and marks the target. Yep. I'm oh, sorry, three. 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 And I don't have enough to kill it. Though, the reaction. So. so the reaction against two shield. Yeah. So it only you only do one, and then if it has if at least uh, one damage was blocked, it's gonna gain a charge. Okay. Okay. And that's it. Ooh, it's harder. Don't have a lot of resources to play all your abilities. <laughs> mm. I like this. I'll spend this three to hide this in my other secret slot. Hmm. I think I'm going to play something. Yeah, this is actually going to cost health Ooh. as opposed as opposed to uh, 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 energy. Which is pretty useful. Oh, I got also it. risky. <laughs> yeah, it is. I can do two damage to the enemy. It's not going to do enough, unfortunately. I'm going to have to end. I'm done. Okay, I'm now alive again at five health. Yep. My initiative skill triggers. I gain four health. If my health is already full, I gain one more instead and discard this skill. Or I gain a max health instead and discard this skill. Yep. So you go up one max health. Not too shabby. Mm -hmm. And then I think I'll just pass and draw a card for not playing anything. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> oh, you know, are you gonna buy anything? No. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, we gotta. These are gonna go. 
Okay, so it's the monster's turn, and the monster is going to do one damage, uh, plus one to everybody, so it'll do two damage. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play Thunderstruck, and I'm going to spend this, which as long as I have two or less cards in my hand, I get four currency, which is enough to play this, so I'll have two left over, which kind of fizzles. I gain two shields, and for every two damage blocked, I get two of these little, uh, lightning bolts, and I can... Equip it to where they'll take skill. Or I can restore one HP. I think. I think I'll restore the HP. And this will go back to my hand. And then shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And I can play another one down. <laughs> okay. Uh, the riffling is done. The shop will open back up again. And then everybody's going to draw three cards yeah. and discard one. There you go. Crazy, crazy. Discard that one. Alright, this is where we go. <gasps> Ooh, I want that. <laughs> oh, well, that's organic. I don't want that. Oh, you want Voltaic, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Are you also going Voltaic? Oh, you I do. started Voltaic. Yeah. Uh oh, this is going to be challenging then. <laughs> Alright. Beginning my turn. This flip all my equipped basic skills cost one less energy. Do I have to do I use it and it goes away? Yep, it goes or... to your hand. Goes to your hand. Mine oh, specifically okay. said so it all goes. your skills cost ah. one less. Okay, Go. and my ultimate also costs one less. Oh no, that's no. if it's two. Never mind. Okay. I'm gonna switch this one out here. Woo! This goes here. Alright, let's see if we can get discard this one. To deal two damage to the monster and okay, mark so it. It will take one damage. It actually it'll take nothing. Oh wait. But it will gain one of these. But it'll get marked. So that's the, just the first time it's attacked each turn. The reaction okay. triggers. Okay. Okay. And then. This is so you still have one energy damage. left over, right? Because it costs one less and it costs you two. Oh yes. Well, oh, that's two. These cost, this one only cost me two. So I'll spend this one, one more, and deal three damage to the marked target. It'll deal as well one bonus damage and draw a card. So that'll, do those count separately or? It doesn't matter because the reaction doesn't affect it, right? Yeah. What? The reaction only triggers once every turn. Yeah, yeah. So how much damage are you doing total to it? I'm doing three? Um, four. Four? One, two, three dice. Yeah. Okay. That's what I wanted to make sure. Okay. And then you're going to get to draw one card. Yes. And gain one of these crystals. Yay! And we flip over a new monster. Chimera. Uh, which has an initiative. Which says it does one damage to all players. Oh, okay. I'm going to spend my shirt to increase my health. <laughs> Max health. And then I'll go for one. <laughs> and end my turn. Can't you do that as an instant? Well, she, well, she got it turn. first, huh? That's the end of my turn. No, it's not. As an, can she do that as an instant? Well, can, no, but she can, it's an action she can take on yeah. her turn. I know, but this if is she doing, would, If she would have been defeated yet. by it, then her turn would have just been over. Hmm. I okay. didn't end my turn. It died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, well, but yeah. you got a crystal. When it died, the game pauses, and then a new monster comes out. Yeah. Oh. It stays it on your turn. Yeah, I didn't go to zero, though. So we yeah, if you didn't go to okay. zero, you're okay. fine. Wait a second, and okay. then I do it. All right, because if that initiative kills yeah. you, then... All right, and then yeah, everybody else took the one damage? Okay, it's active as it does two damage to all players and itself, and then its death cry does four damage to the Slayer. All right, now it's still your turn. Uh, Unless there's nothing else you like to do. That's it. Would you like to buy? No. Okay. How much does this guy have? Five HP? I kind of want that guy to pass away. All right, I will play Ionized Hardening, or Hardon, which gives uh, th give me three of these little guys here. And then it also lets me uh, put two of these onto a skill. 
I'll spend these three to do Mind Blast, which does two damage to all enemies. No! Discard a card from my hand if anybody has a response. Uh oh, poor Caddy passed yeah. away. And does two damage to this guy as well. And then I'm going to spend two life to activate my reson Resonant Flash. Resonant Flash. Which basically does three damage. And then it'll hit this guy. And the start target will die. So I will get four of these. On this baby here. And then... This will trigger. So I would get two of these guys here. And I will draw a card. And discharge. It will because I have more than four. So all these go away. And now I can choose to either add two of these tokens to all of my Voltaic skills, which there's kind of mm -hmm. not a point, yeah. or I can restore six HP. Now, because he died, right, I would take one, two, three, four damage, but instead I'm not. I'm going to go back to full health, which is nice. And then a new monster is going to come out. And that's a Corklings. Active. Deals damage to all players equal to the amount of charge counters. And then it discharges all of them. It has a reaction. It gains charge counters. Oh, sorry. Technically how this would work is I would I would lose two health, right, to this guy mm -hmm. here. And then the monster would die. So would I actually go all the way off? Because that I, says, I don't know the order for how that works. It's that, a very it's an interesting interaction. Hmm. Well, either way, I will end my turn, just in case. Just in case I potentially died. <laughs> and this is going to have eight health. Yep. Okay, I'll pay three. And I'll put these guys on things. Put this card here. Secret card. Secret card. Then I'll put this card down. I'll play Demon Blood to gain two and two. I'll. What's your HP that? Is Callie defeated? And I am defeated. We're both defeated. <laughs> potentially. <laughs> I'm potentially defeated. Depending on how the interactions went out in that weird... I'll deal one damage to the quark link. Okay. Uh, reaction, it gains one of these guys for every charge counter, or for every damage he takes. Yep. And then... That is it. Okay. Monster's going to trigger. He is going to do damage to all players equal to charge counters, so Grant takes the damage. Did you do such, just, did you do such a thing? Yes. Okay. And these are going to go away. Pop these guys out. And then you will draw one, two, three cards. Thank you. Three cards. Three cards. And then discard one. And you're up, Kelly. All right. I don't can't use my shards this turn. Go back to six health. I will. And then where it does it, it discharges. Pay two to put this out of here. Ah. And oh, this one doesn't. Um... Wow, you have all four already. Yeah, and I have the glyph of ascension. We stack the deck. Play that right now. Right? Oh, right. Sorry, no one has a what, victory point yet. Victory point yet. Sorry. We stack the deck for you. That's why you got it. <laughs> Pure luck. That's all. I passed my turn. All right, let's bring my guys back up. This is going to be very powerful pretty soon here, I think. It only costs two. Health, that is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what is he got? He's got seven HP. Alright. I'll play Nanobots. Uh, which 
So I, I'll play it uh, for the three to deal two damage to all enemies, and I'll have to discard a card from my hand if somebody has a reaction skill. Two damage to all enemies? Yes. Which will do two to this guy. Okay, I will two. activate my fortify, or my reaction skill. And I'll gain two of these tokens. Okay. Discard this. Does gain two shields if this skill negates all incoming damage, the attacker is stunned. And what's that mean? Uh, how much damage did you do? To what? To me. Two. two. Okay, this gains two things, so it completely negated all of the damage. Right. So you're stunned, so you can't take any more actions this turn. I can't take any more actions? That's correct. Mm -hmm. So I can't use this then? No. Oh. Stunning is really powerful on players. Okay, then. I'm done. Oh, and discard a card from my hand if anybody uses reaction skill, which you did. So I'll discard my... I did not know that's what stun did. It's because when you play it on the monsters, it doesn't really do anything. Or when it's not other players' turns, it doesn't do much. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, you just can't react, yeah. Well, I'm back in play. And that was covered. Even though I didn't use it, so. This will make any excess damage I deal convert to health. And this will cost one more. I'll play Smite. This will instantly destroy a monster and receive its awards, but I don't get any victory points if it has it, and instead of staying there, it gets shuffled back into the deck. So you get two crystals and two cards? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty powerful. Yeah, this gets shuffled back into this deck here? Yeah. Well, yeah. it's a wonder card, so they're very powerful. That means that we're going to get some kind of crazy stuff, potentially, huh? I mean, I think it's about the time for the, the crazy stuff to have the possibility mm -hmm. of coming out anyway. We want victory points. Okay. And then a new monster's gonna come out. I like this legendary monster. That's got seven health, active. It will you draw a card and do damage to all players equal to the card's cost, and as a death cry, uh, set the slayer's current HP to one. Ooh. And it has true strike. So you just so you can't simply, react to that. You're simply gonna Go to, you bring your health to one. All right, anything else, Grant? I'll gain two. Uh, so it's one, and then one for each of the type that I choose, so that's three. So that will allow me to activate Cellular Recharge. This is gonna deal just two damage. If the target is a monster, I steal the Voltaic and place it on the skill. And then I'll do this to draw a card and gain one. And then I'll discard this and deal two, three damage more. Okay. And then my turn's done. All right, the active, so draw a card and it's gonna do one damage to all players. Uh... Wait, one or? One here. This is the weather checks. Yeah. Okay. okay, it'll go there. And uh, it attacked. This is going to go away. Time for a new shop. Ooh, look at all those organic things. One, two, three for you. Thank you. I made it nice and easy so Callie could kill it. Three for <laughs> me. Three for you. And then discard one. I'll get rid of that one, I guess. Ooh, no, we won't. This is even worse. Okay. All right. On my turn, my abilities are back. Yay! Uh, we'll have Anesidora's Fate. All my equip basic skills cost one less. Ultimate cost one less. And I will, okay, so this is only one. Let's play this one. And this that goes back to your hand, too. The fate card? Yes, it will. I just wanted to have it out there to remind me that these are <laughs> cost okay. one less. Well, maybe the reason is because you could actually spend that card if you wanted to. 
from your hand. Oh, as a resource. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, deal two damage to two enemies. Yep. So this one and oh, Michael. <laughs> Sorry. And, and it's going to be marked now. And then I will spend ooh, spend two. Spend two, one, two, for my spear, which will do three damage. And bone, one that bone destroys spin. him. Yay. And your current HP is one. Yeah, I go down. I'm already at, at three. So. You gain one victory point. You get two of these guys here. Uh -huh. And you get to draw one card. Okay. And I draw one card for this. Yep. New card's gonna come out. Reckoning oh, event. No. Starting from the top, search the realm of chaos for a legendary and put it into play, and it gets plus three. Oh, there it is, right at the top. Legendary. Very powerful legendary now. It's a 13. It also has initiative of deals two damage to all players and has true strike. So right now everybody takes two damage and it can't be countered. Oh no! <laughs> That's it for me. I die. <laughs> Revealing my death cry. I gain a crystal if and if I'm killed by a player with more victory points than me, I gain two crystals instead. So you get two crystals. No, I gain one crystal. Okay. Oh, one crystal, sorry. Now when I die, can I still use my crystals or no? Uh, your turn is over, turn I know over. that. Okay. Then that's it. Alright, so I got, we got, it's got 13 HP. Well, that's no good. <laughs> I guess we still, I guess it's gotta kind of whittle him away a little bit, huh? Hmm. I'll spend 2 HP. I will do five damage to this guy. One, two, three, four, five. And it says gain two of these if it doesn't die. That's it. That's all I can do. I'm done. Okay, I'm now back with six HP. I've only got one little baby HP. I'll spend all these crystals I've accumulated to increase my health by four. Whoa! And Draw that, two cards from the wonder deck of wonders. use it right now. It allows me to look at the top six cards of the deck and put two in my hand and the rest on the bottom. Whoa. And all these wonder cards are very, very, very powerful. Yeah, they're mostly one use powerful cards. I think they're all one use. Yeah. The rest on the bottom. Alright, I'll play an ultimate. Yep. Ultimate. And then I'll do discard this to gain some to play this. Yep. Equal to I'm trying to put it in the top of the deck. <laughs> get it again. Yeah, um, okay, my turn is done. Okay. Uh, your turn is over. So this guy is going to deal damage to all players equal to their missing HP. Well, <laughs> I'm missing no HP. I am missing. I'm already dead. <laughs> all of my HP. But luckily for me, I have Lazarus. So whenever I receive fatal damage, I'm instead of restored to full health and I do five damage. Oh, nice. For you. Well, I'm dead, so I'm not <laughs> going to be able to do much damage. You're not going to be able to do three damage? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say then. These get discarded. Three more come out. 
and one, two, and three cards for you. Does Callie have a victory point? She only draws two. Oh, you ah. only draw two. Sorry. Boop. And you don't get to discard. You just get two. Three, one, two, oh, I don't three. Okay. All right, I discard one of these bad boys. All right. I'm coming back, but I have no special abilities. I do want to spend these, though. I'm thinking I need to spend them on health, because I am dying too much. And I'll use my Glyph of Ascension. This doesn't cost anything, right? Nope. Shows that I have all four. As long as mythic. one player has a... Okay, so you got it, so you get to... That just makes you more win more! <laughs> I'll, I'll read it aloud while she's doing that. It says, reveal your hidden reaction skills, if any, and then acquire a class for which you qualify. In this case, she's going to get the class for that, because she has all four. This can only be done after at least one player has acquired a victory point. Flip your reaction skills back face down. All right, I have the deity. Reward, take an extra turn after the current one ends. Passive, once a turn you can discard a card to refresh an exhausted non-ultimate skill. All right. So the, the reward happens yep. now. Right now. Take your extra turn. Well, is your turn oh, over? Your turn over. Um, I... She hasn't done anything yet. Yeah. Dang it. And I have max hand side of the seven, right? Uh, that's that's at the end of your turn. You discard down to seven. Okay. That's why, yeah, I'm asking if I want it. Well... I could do. I don't have my abilities. Okay. Because it'll mark it. No, it'll go away, right? The marking. If you defeat it. Or, yeah, if you turn in. It's got three health. In. I mean, you, need to, um, you don't need to mark it, really. You can just pick yeah, one of your abilities that does three damage, right? Or two at least. I have two and mark. And then. Wait. Do this one, one and mark. Okay. So, two resource. Deals one to two enemies, the okay. one to Grant, and then three for this one. It'll deal two damage to that one. Destroys this and guy. We'll draw a card. So you get one victory point. You're one away from winning. Uh, you get three of these: one, two, and three. And you draw a card for killing the guy. And then a new monster comes out. But first, blessed. Ooh. All players begin their turn with three energy. So at the beginning of your turn, you get three energy. And that stays in play until a legendary monster dies. And a legendary monster is out. It is got 10 HP. It's Pegasus. Uh, active. Restores three health. And then it deals damage to all players equal to their missing HP. And its reaction is it gains two armor if at least one damage is taken. The attacker gains... Oh, it's against two armor, and if it, this deals at least one damage, then the attacker gains a crystal, which is kind of nice, actually. Oh, okay. So you have to do at least two damage to it. Okay, my little pokey guys aren't going to be good. You need to do at least three damage to it. Yeah, that's what... Oh, yeah. Sorry. Well, remember, the reaction only triggers on the first attack. So I'll end my turn, okay. and I get an extra one. That happens right now, right? Once a turn, yeah, and you can discard a card to... Refresh an enchanted non ultimate skill. Okay. But I don't have to do that right now, right? It's a new turn. No, no, it's your turn. Okay, okay. And I will spend two to do the brand of Rajin. One damage to two enemies. Oh, sorry, two damage to two enemies and mark them. Two damage. Yep. Oh, no, no, right? no. Oh, one, no. that doesn't do anything. It, it does two it. damage, and it reacts. It does, it gains a shield for two. Yep. And then if at least one damage was taken, which it wasn't, you would gain a crystal. Okay. So it's marked. Mm -hmm. Um, And then you had to pick one more person to do yep. two damage to. Grant. Okay. I'm oh, going no, to, <laughs> yep. I'm going to play Genesis card, a shard, and discard up to uh, two cards. So I'll just discard one, and then I get to draw that many cards. Then I'll activate my Fortify, and I'll gain two. How much damage are you doing? Two. Okay, I block two, and since the skill negated all incoming damage, the attacker's stunned. No! And all did right. you draw a card from your... I did not. Okay. That's it. All right. You gonna kill it? 
I don't think so. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I have enough, enough damage right now. Um. It's got 10 HP, huh? So we'll spend one and two health to use the ultimate. Which straight up does five damage to that guy. So he takes three. One, two, three. And I gain a crystal. Nice. Uh, put it... Put on the Mind Blast. We keep, I keep using that even though I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> uh, then I will do Demon Blood, which will give me... Restores, what, three? Two HP? One, two. Which puts me at max. And then I have two currency. So I'll go ahead and discard... One more card for three. Turn this guy over to do two, two damage to all enemies. Sure. All right. Yeah, I have nothing else to do. Okay, I'll discard this. I don't. Yeah, if you're gonna end my, end my turn here, it doesn't matter anyway. I do two damage to the guy, and you're stunning me. Yep. Okay, I'm done. It's either I did that and did two damage to him, or I, mm -hmm. or I did nothing. Or I could do one damage to all enemies and restore health, but I'm at full health, so. Alright, I'll discard this for three, and I'll do uh, Meteor Storm. Which does? So it does six damage spread over any number of targets with a maximum of three damage per target. Mm -hmm. So I'll deal three and three, since she has no reactive skill. So you'll, take, you'll get one crystal and do one damage to him? Then I will put the crystal on this. Okay. Demon blood, which gives me two, uh, two, two, two. and two currency. Discard electron flux for two more. So you're at four. So I'll do cellular recharge. How much? Which is going to deal two damage. If the target is a monster, I steal the voltaic. So it's at two. two. And then I need to discard, discard this to use Amplified Bolt, which yep. is going to deal one, two, three, four damage, and I gain the excess damage and health. Okay, so you you knocked Yay! him out. That's going to give you a victory point. Oh, you got one over here. Oh no! I'll put these here. So okay, cash it up. And then you're going to get one more crystal, and you get to draw a card from the deck here. Okay, and then we're gonna this. So, oh, you actually started with three three resources, by the way. Oh, well, I'll take this card back then. Well, I didn't I didn't do mine either, so. Yeah. I well, didn't take know. take a card back then. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm not going to. Polymorph. Each player can choose to discard up to three cards, then draw the same number from the realm of knowledge. Go ahead and flip another card over while I shuffle. All right, we got another one. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to wait. <laughs> I'll just discard one. All right. And I'll discard two. Kelly? Oh, we do the same. Again. There's another one. Okay. I'll do two. Okay. Sorry. Reveal ten cards from the Realm of Knowledge and lay them face up. Uh, starting from the active player, players take turns drawing one of these into their hand, then place the remainder on the bottom. Ten? Yep. Wow. Oh, these go on the sand top. Alright, so right before the shop opens up, we'll pull all these out. Well, all, all of this is happening from from me killing it, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Who starts with picking? The acting player. Okay. There they all are. What'd you take? I'll take. This. Okay. Equipment. Um, what do you want now? Oh, that one's good. 
energy. Let's go with. Okay, those all, the rest go to the bottom. Okay. Alright. And we just got a Sporius, which is an uh, initiative, deal one damage to all players. <gasps> no! And it's quite unfortunate I am out of actions, because it only has four HP. My turn <laughs> is done. Alright, Kelly. Okay. Shop comes out. And, oh, and okay. two cards for you, okay. three and discard one for me, and two cards for Grant. I'll discard this one. And also, oh, this guy attacks too. All right, you should be the only person who needs to take it. Me and Kelly already did it. I'll prevent it and heal a health okay. with one of my previous cards. Right, from the initiative or from the attack? Initiative. Oh, but doesn't it attack then? Because it came out on your turn? And then it attacks now, right? Yeah. Why don't you take damage? Then we take two. Oh. Why doesn't everybody do Well, you, you read the initiative, right? Callie and I already did that while you were doing what you were doing. Yeah. I, no, I took the one damage as well. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I take okay. two. So you so, take a total of three damage right yeah. now. One from the initiative when it came out, mm -hmm. and at the end of the ground, you're going to okay. take two each. So I'm dead. Now, it, now it's a little different when you die with a victory point. No, it's not. It's not. Not in this version. Oh, not in this version of the game. Okay. Oh, really? So no matter how many victory points you have, it's dying is the same. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I come back to life. Yay! Can't use my extra skills, but I have. I might as well spend these two. Get my health up. Get a wonder card. Choice of a wonder card. Uh, all right. And I can still still do some damage here. Actually, I'm going to trade out Wrath of Zeus for Flight of Kyosin. That's an expansion card there. Some more abilities. All right. I will do hyperdrive. Choose a skill category. Gain one plus one additional for each revealed equipped skill. So is that four then? Yep. So five? Okay. And do I don't want to do that one too first. Okay. Deal two damage and mark the sporosis. Okay. Alright. And then I need one more. One more, one more, yeah. One more. Deal two damage. Or sorry, three plus one bonus one. Thank you. Alright. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh no, he's not. He's, no. He just uh. does he has a death cry that says, Search the realm of chaos for two legendary monsters, shuffle the deck. Put the first one into play and the second on uh, face down on top of the deck. Wow. Two Any damage. Wait, that's his reaction? No, death cry. Okay. And I'm done. Okay. Ooh. I want that. Six damage? Can it be done? It can be. So, two, three, mind blast. Um, you're gonna make me take, I'm gonna lose my turn again though. I know, that's why I don't wanna attack him. <laughs> gonna stun you. I can't ya. do anything about that. <laughs> Let me see. I can switch that out. Got six health, and I can do five. And I can't play any new abilities. Hmm. It's 
It's fine. I won't block it if you do it. <laughs> yes, you will. Ah, a little bit of social game in here. I'm going to turn this. I'm just going to use this. It's going to cost me two life. One, two. And that says it deals five damage to it. One, two, three, four, five. And I discharge because I already have four on here. Uh -huh. And I will add, I will gain six HP. Ooh. And then I will mind blast now for the three. Hmm. For everyone? Yes, yeah, two damage to everybody. So you can, at least I'll get to kill the monster. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to give me two of these little babies. And I'll put them both on this. And I get to draw a card. And then he's going to pass on. So we're going to search the realm for two legendary monsters. All right, let's go with these two, I guess. Put them on top. And I'll reveal the first one. And that is which says deal two damage to all players and gain one. Uh, it'll gain one of those voltaic energies. And then if on death cry, Slayer will gain the crystals. Oh, oh it didn't, there's no initiative. Okay. okay. No, no, it's nice. Okay. It's a nice one. Um, I guess I could technically keep going if he didn't stop in my turn, but I didn't. I know, right? That's what I said because he didn't in my turn. So, but I don't actually think I want to do anything else. So I am done. I'm going to nine. Oh. I'll discard these two cards and take magnetar pulls into oh. my hand. So these get discarded. Yes. Oh, did Callie have the death penalty on her last turn? The uh, death penalty. Did you die? The previous did, you put your... did you have access to your crystals? No, in the last I didn't. Mm -mm. Okay, so if I killed you again, then it wouldn't have any effect on you. Yeah. Okay, it's got nine HP. Yep. Okay, I'll discard Glyph of Ascension to deal six damage. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. This is gonna deal three damage if the target is monster. I steal the voltaic. Um, Remember when you're talking. And then this is going to discharge, and when it discharges, I gain one crystal. Yep. Okay, so was that damage for both of them? You did. One, two, three. You, so you did six total damage to the monster. Yes. Okay. And then two. I'm gonna deal one, uh, two. Three, four, and then this is gonna discharge. So four more damage. Yeah, and I overkilled it by one, right? Yep. So I gain one HP. You get that. You get one of these bad boys here. And then you'll get to draw two cards. And a new monster comes out. Another legendary. Alright. And I'm going to end my turn. Alright, end of your turn. Oh, you want to do these? Um Actually, yes. <laughs> you know, the Voltaic Ultimate? Yes. Okay. Alright, so... His active does two damage to all players. Oh, that's gonna happen right now, huh? I'll pick two. Oh, that seems like a waste. <laughs> I'll just take the two. Okay. And... He's got... Eight, eight health. Yeah. His death cry says that he restores all players HP to full. Oh. He's a nice guy. Yeah. All right. Two cards for you. Thank you. Two for me. I have a feeling the game's going to be over this round. Oh, I, think you're right. <laughs> I think she's just going to kill it. I can't stop her. All right. I will. Really, I can I can stop her if she attacks me. <laughs> I will 
deal, I'll do Staff of Wukong to deal two damage and mark the target. Okay. I will do my Spear of Anker, deal two damage, uh, sorry, deal three damage plus one bonus, so four. And then I'll use my ultimate. Has to cost four to deal two damage. All right, and Yay. with that last victory point, you win the game. Yay. Right, it's instant yep. win, pretty much. Yep. I think I should have picked scarier legendary monsters <laughs> for the top of the deck. I didn't think they would be able to both kill them each on their own I turn. Think, I'm not sure that you actually get to search. I think they just flip off until. Oh, I just mm. took the top. I just took the first two I yeah, saw yeah, at the bottom. Yeah, I'm yeah, saying, yeah. I think based on how the other cards have gone, you flip. just you just flip out two of them. Yeah, I mean, it does help that she has literally all... I mean, yeah, look at my hodgepodge of a mess. This time. What'd you have? But I hadn't before gotten that lucky. <laughs> Usually my... I would have actually got like yours, the dynamo but... on my next turn. Oh, oh really? Uh, and you had ascension? Yeah, and I had, I had ascension as well. Uh -huh. I had that and an ascension, but I still needed one more. One more left. So you got all of the alts, and I got all of the abilities? Like, I would have been able to pick up this one <laughs> on my, on my yeah. turn. But, or at my end of my turn, but I wouldn't have been able to yeah. play it till the next turn. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had the Glyph of Ascension since the start of the game, but I was like, oh, I'm so close. You literally started with three of those yeah, abilities, and all lucky. of them pretty much marked targets. I was only doing well. maybe like this attack mainly. Using this one was ending my turn, so it was kind of counterproductive to do it this way, but it's better than you having to deal with the, the trap. And these. This, I never really needed to use it because it was almost not worth it because my ult just let me, I almost ulted every single time we killed the target, so I just get to heal, 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 heal. Yeah. And the fact that it cost me HP, but then I gained HP for playing it was a pretty good deal because it was basically a free card to play. And you didn't need this one for healing either then. I yeah. had no other, I didn't have any other cards that I wanted to use though. Mm -hmm. I mean, but also that falls into the same thing of I would have just ended his turn. Yeah, I can't, I can't do one damage to all, to all targets when that happens. Uh, and this one is good. It gives me stuff. It gives me uh, tokens on my cards, but unfortunately, it was something it wasn't really worth doing uh, um, because I could have just basically gained the, the health. And I also had two of these demon bloods in hand too, so I could have gained health from these you guys. More as well. I wanted those. <laughs> but I didn't need. Well, I mean, you yeah. don't really need the them. Dying, yeah, dying isn't too harsh in this game, so. No. I mean, just every other turn. Every other turn, you're anyway. getting weaker. Yeah. Yeah. So that is the new game for Endogenesis, with the, the, expansion, with the expansion to Beyond. A couple of additional things like the shop, which I actually actually used a couple times, which was nice. The Voltaic, which you got to see a ton of them. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. we played. Me and Grant played quite a few of the Voltaic, and we were hoping to get the other other the guy out. But we did. Well. We actually yeah. did, we actually did get a deity out rather quickly, and in fact, and the reason she had to play it was because she actually got a victory point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And actually, there's a, other additional cards in the expansion, too. You can see with the expansion of yeah, yeah, it adds cards. extra it cards for each faction. It adds well. more playability for each faction. Different so ultimates and stuff. If you like what you saw, and it's something that you'd be interested in, remember this game comes with a cooperative mode, single player and two player, and then it has even a four and five player mode that plays like this, or simplified version that doesn't take as much like yeah. things uh, going on for you but you can play this if you'd like yeah. and you can check it out right now it's on the campaign on kickstarter the game endo genesis a game that i've really really enjoyed i've loved the artwork for this game for a long time and i was very very grateful to be able to get a chance to play the expansion so thank you so much for uh, letting us make this video for you as well as you guys out there hopefully you enjoyed this and you watched more of our playthroughs here on youtube all right guys thank you so much for your time and as always we look forward to seeing See you guys, guys next time, time.